after you know some troubles there? You know, I, I, I think we did some good things in the first half, especially the way we ended it. You know, the last four minutes we talked. I think we were down one or two with three fifty to go. We talked in the huddle about winning that last round, and, and we did. Um, and I thought that gave us a little momentum. Unfortunately, we started the second half with a turnover, and it was a little questionable there on the first couple possessions. But we kind of tightened some things up, and you know, I think Troy uh, and Daniel. Two seniors out there give us a poise that we haven't had. And um, I thought that was a big key in the first five or six minutes of the second half where we kind of stretched the lead. Um, you know, they played a lot of zone and we got the ball inside, made some plays, offensive rebound, the ball, and then all of a sudden you hit a couple of threes. And an eight point lead, seven point lead is 15. And that's exactly what happened. Um, you know, this is, this is a great win for us. You know? Over the last couple of years, we've made sure our guys understand that this is an important game. You, know, you only get to play it once. You know, it's the, for me, it's the only rivalry I've ever been a part of where you only play it once. I think I mentioned that the other day. And so it puts a lot on this, on this game. But it, it's only one game. And our guys need to realize it. They need to feel good about it tonight. They need to realize they play with the great pride in, in, in Georgia Tech. I think a lot of people are excited. Tomorrow we need rest, and Sunday we need to get back to work. Well, you know, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I think what's happened is those three nights we played better. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to read all that much into that. You know, um, I think they're going to be very good. He's done a great job with those young guards. The big guys, um, I think, can play better than maybe they played tonight, and I think they will. I really like his team, and then when Brandon Morris comes back, I think it adds another dimension to it. Um, but we played pretty well tonight, and, and um, it's better to win the last three than to lose the last three. It seemed like Trey and, and Daniel really stepped up with some, you know, the veteran leadership you'd expect out of those two We guys. need that. You know, we need that, that, that competitiveness, but also that poise that those seniors have shown for Cam and Daniel. You know, Cam, and Cam has his career high in the rebounds. We, we need it because Robert was in foul trouble and didn't play as well. He's capable of playing. Daniel, another double-double on a big stage. True, uh, or Trey did it, some great things. Um, you know, I, I think, I hope that over the last couple of years, these guys have started to understand, you know, when you put on that uniform one time a year, it means even a little bit more. Tonight's that night, and they showed it. Kind of where, can you compare how different it feels the last trip here, kind of where you are as a program? Oh, it would be like a different stratosphere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, we spent two years you know, trying to build a really good foundation of what's important and how you're supposed to do things. And we're not perfect by any stretch. Um, you know, we played well that night. We didn't have a program at that particular time when we won here three years ago. I think we're, we've made a, a process has moved in those two years, and we're not, you know, we're not there yet. You know what I mean? Because one thing I did tell our guys, we've won this game the last two years, and that, you know, you, it's a great win, but you need to continue to get better. We have to be a much better team next Wednesday when we play Dayton than we were tonight. Trent is senior. This is first year. Assume that much. Well, I think it, it, it's, it's a challenge, you know, because I always say it's hard to lead unless you're comfortable in your own role. And he's playing both guard spots for us, so it, it's that's not easy, you know. And I'm on his butt. You know, it's it's not like I'm giving him, you know, time to learn this stuff. Yeah, if he doesn't do it right, he gets jumped pretty good. And he's, he's handled that extremely well. And the reason why is because he really wants to have a successful senior year, and I think the number one key in that is to help us take another step as a program. Um, he's earned the respect of his teammates because he brings it every single day in practice. It's amazing what a hard what hard work and, and being a great practice player will do in terms of earning the respect of your teammates. Yeah. This was a, obviously nice to see Robert for the last three years. Add a little something to it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. But, you know, I, I just, you know, him being a kid from Atlanta, you know, I think this game is a little bit more. Obviously, yeah, obviously, obviously, early in the year, getting back to what you were talking about before, a few games in the season, you can't forget what it means, but can you at least sort of project direction, get a feel for where you want to play like this 
Right. Well, there's a lot of season left, but I think you're right. You know, um, you know that this is a process. We went from 11 to 16 wins. I think you know in the second year it, it might have. I'm not sure Zimmer would probably be able to tell you. I think it was the first time <laughs> the second year and the head coach second year was over 500. You know, it, it, there's a process, and I think we're going to take another step this year. We're much better, but that doesn't necessarily mean more wins. You know, much better means that you have the chance to do it. Now, are we going to go out there and, and continue to work hard and, and focus on the, the daily process that you need to do as opposed to the results? We know where we want to get to. But we can't think about that. We need to think about what we're going to do today to, to put us in that position. It seemed like the getting Carter back to start the second really helped to have your two bigs kind of playing off each other. Yeah, yeah, and it, it gave you know gave those guys a little rest, and we did a good job on the glass because of it. you know I you know Roberts I, I think a big thing Roberts not happy because he didn't play well, but he's happy that we won. That's a big step for our program because that wasn't always the case. And he understands how important he is, and he needs. He knows he's going to fall back, and he's just. Those guys are. Those guys have been great because of the work ethic that they put in every single day. And you know what? It's important to him now. You know, it's important to him. And I think that's a big step for us. I imagine it'd be satisfying too. Physical game, like well, it's yeah. very chippy and. It would look like a rivalry we, game. I would yeah, and, it's, yeah you know, and we did a good job on the glass, which. Always makes me happy <laughs> because of my background. I feel good. We won the glass. I was worried because they're a great rebounding team. I thought we matched that. Thanks, Brian. You got it.